clearly don't love you. <laughs> hey, welcome back to our stupid direction. It's a Corbin. I'm Rick. And you can follow us on Instagram. Instagram. Stop, it. Stop it! Stop it! I don't know what that was. And we are in a car. Uh, we didn't go see any movie. We no, just thought no, we'd we just sit in the car and think about what the movie's probably like. <laughs> um, we're doing a movie review of the not very anticipated uh, new film. Indie low budget rom com. Brah. I thought, somebody I, was, I thought you were going to spit. I thought somebody was behind me. Brah Mastra. Brah Mastra. Uh, the Indian. Uh, Hindu mythology sto epic yes. kind of thing. The Astroverse. Astroverse. Uh, India's like first superhero film. Um, obviously, this is new, as you guys all know. And I know most of you, or a lot of you, are probably going to end up going see it. So most of this will be non spoilers. And then we'll get into some spoilers because there are stuff that we'd probably want to talk about. We'll want to talk about, but we'll let um, you know beforehand, unlike reviewers do, when they're things like variety, thanks. <laughs> yeah, but we, uh, we don't want to give anything away. But, uh, but before I say anything good, bad, uh, whatever, I do want to say. If you go see it, see it in IMAX, and what Disney decided, I, I purchased IMAX at the last minute. Uh, not at the last minute, I purchased no, you, 2D IMAX yeah. on the biggest screen I could 2D find. 2D standard IMAX. And then we get there, and they hand us 3D glasses. We're like, apparently, say what? Disney decided to scrap all, all IMAX ones and make all IMAX screens 3D screens. Right. <laughs> Which not, we were like, come on, guys. I'm not a huge fan of 3D, yeah. but it didn't ruin it at all. Uh, in terms of uh, the, the the visuals, because that's I haven't probably seen a 3D film in probably 15, 20 years. I'm with you. Uh, but anyways, I would highly encourage if you're going to go see this film, get it on the biggest screen you can, because uh, this is the style of film um, that is worth the big screen, uh, bar none. <laughs> so if 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 nothing else. Uh, Please just try to see it on the biggest, most beautiful screen you can. I think it, that would probably enhance your enjoyment of the a, film. A hundred percent. But Rick, your initial non-spoiler thoughts, please. Absolutely fantastic. I I loved it. Uh, it, um, yeah. A and kudos to the sound design because the film starts with sound. This isn't a spoiler. It's the sound is great, but they do the trick that is done in most songs, where for the duration of the song. The mixing just gets a little bit louder as the song goes on, and it never got too loud. And you've heard us talk about that before. We were like, and we had to like cover up our ears. So, the, and you're going to want to see these visuals. I, I have mixed feelings about the 3D. I know uh, the director, uh, Mr. Mukherjee, wants to have everybody see it in 3D, which is kind of hard not to honor the wishes of the, the the guy who made it. And I. I will come back and see it, and I will have everybody come see it in 3D because I think the visual field for whatever you lose of the cinematography that you would get, he intended the cinematography to be seen in 3D, and you, you really won't get that in a home theater experience. So it brings you to the theater, and it gives you an epic, and we'll tell, tell you more, but all in all, I it, it lived up to the hype for me. Uh, so anyway. I had uh, some technical difficulties there, and so that's why you saw the cut there. Um, so yeah, you you enjoyed it. Yeah. I loved it. I enjoyed it as well. I didn't love it. Oh, I, I loved it. Um, the the I I loved like the visuals of it. I think it's absolutely worth seeing. And um, I, I there's just parts of the, the the screenplay that I just wish were how do I put it? Um, just. Because it's it's hard because I really enjoyed the script like in terms of what they did with the mythology right uh -huh, in right. terms of like creating this whole superhero style of universe yes and what you can do with it and I, I enjoyed that but it was a double edged sword because the parts that I was like okay they, they're keeping the pace here didn't it doesn't really feel like a three hour film at all because uh, it's almost it's just under three hours and it doesn't feel that and the pacing is good but it's also the the downside is that. Um, I think that you you lose something because every, every something is always going to come next that helps further the plot. Sure. Okay. That 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 is the thing that I didn't love, and it's a double edged sword because they had to explain everything, right? Yeah. And you kind of have to in this story, but also I don't love that much explanation. Uh, you mean 
Uh, explanation in terms of like exposition in the dialogue. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, you understand? I do. That I, that's that's that didn't bother me at all. That's my biggest issue with it. Yeah, uh, is that is, didn't bother me at is all. Is that and it actually gives me. I don't want to cut off your face here. Uh, hope for the, spoiler. There's a second one. <laughs> yeah, really. Like you didn't know that. That the fact that they won't have to explain. It's everything. an origin. Of course, it's an origin film. Yeah, and, and, it's, and it's, it's, it's not just an origin film. It's a film that has to do with so much. So much. Like there's probably stuff that went a billion miles over our heads, and a bunch. I'm sure that was left out. Yeah, and also like stuff that people grew up with, knowing this, right. these stories about these astras, about these these gods and stuff like that, and getting to see it on screen, I bet is like almost lethargic uh, getting to see it. And I think they did a, a really good job with a lot of aspects of it. There's just parts that I would have uh, preferred, uh, maybe just a little differently. Uh, I don't, yes, for me, I I know what you're talking about, and it didn't bother me because I've seen the Marvel universe do that, mm -hmm. and I've seen. I feel like They're based doing on a lot more now with the multiverse for sure. Exactly. Yeah. And, and and really have been. And I think considering the expansiveness in what is being communicated and trying to get everybody on the same page, not just with the telling of the story, but the establishing of all of these things. Yeah. I I it could have been really easy to have bad screenwriting and I I I actually think they did a really yeah. good job. Yeah, for the most part, I I, I, I really, but that would be my biggest f gripe, I guess it would be the word, is that I wanted to, everything happened real fast, <laughs> right? They fall in love <laughs> real fast. They, all right. this kind they're, of stuff. The, the, the things do happen at a pretty like, quick, it, we it, have a lot of ground and to cover. Like I said, it's a double-edged sword because that helps further the plot in terms of, Correct. oh, this keeps it going and it's nice, and, and but it also is like, I kind of wish we could delve into this a little more. And I get it, it's not that style of film. It's it's all about the spectacle in terms of like, we called RRR spectacle, and RRR is a spectacle. Do not compare this to RRR. They're it's very different movies. Completely different films. Very but, different movies. Both spectacles. And Yeah. Uh, but this one especially, this is like a Sanjay Lila Bansali on crack in terms of yeah. visual beauty. Is I what was I'm think, talking I about. was thinking of the two films, and I, I, was, I was watching it, I was thinking to myself, this this should just make everybody in India happy because you have in the same year you have RRR and you have Brahmastra. They are both equally, in my opinion, incredibly good, wonderful movies to watch, incredibly entertaining, and it it doesn't do anything in my estimation, although there'll be people who do this, to say, oh well, we're better than you and we're better than you. I think it just evidences what we've been talking about the whole time that all of India mm -hmm. has artistry at levels that the, the the majority of the people outside of India are just now beginning to recognize. And yeah. I, I really, really hope this this does extremely, extremely well because it's, it's it's visually yeah. it is absolutely spectacular. It's what we saw in the trailer. Yeah, you can honestly watch this. It's spectacular. With the sound off. Yeah, and probably and marvel at what you're watching, and that's that's one of the great things. The fact that Indian cinema is here, in terms of the the obviously there's even though they, they it's a crazy budget for India, right? It's still not at Marvel levels, which imagine, is a, which is astonishing. Imagine what they could do with the Marvel well, level money, right? It would make me if I'm a producer in America, I would look at the films we're making here, and I'd look at the films they're making in India, like Brahmastra and RRR, and I would look at everybody and go. Why the hell are you having me spend so much money on stuff when it can look like that for that amount of money? <laughs> we have to film in India. <laughs> no joke. Because this is this wasn't for me visually on par with Marvel. They did stuff in this thing that I haven't seen in Marvel. Oh yeah. It it just was just gorgeous. Yeah, it was it was and it it's it's wonderful that we have a Indian superhero yes. film that is that is Marvel level uh, in terms of the the visual spectacle and very it. much its own because it's very very it's, different from very other Indian. superhero films. Yeah, it's it's not really like they, we say Marvel because that's the closest thing you can compare it to. Right, but it, this is such an Indian like it's got to be so cool. Oh. If if you've grown up Hindu, if you've grown up Indian, you've grown up listening to these stories about these astro, about these gods, and somebody has made a Marvel film out of it. Yeah, that is cool. 
Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's I, gotta we're, be. we're not Hindu. We're not Indian. Obviously, we have more exposure than most white people have to Indian culture and Indian movies. And so we can appreciate some of the stuff that happened, some of the people that showed up. We're not going to give any spoilers away, obviously. Um, but no, but the, there are some surprises, kids. Yes, <laughs> You're going to really like some surprises in this that they kept under wraps and I'm really glad weren't spoiled for us. The sooner you go see it, the less likely you'll get any spoilers about this movie. So go go see it this weekend. Yes. Um, I'm, I'm interested to see... Uh, Andrani had an engagement tonight that she went to with a friend, and and I'm really looking forward to what she thinks of it because yeah. the, the the perspective that we don't have. She grew up Hindu, right? She Hindu, so she'll she'll absolutely 100. percent And you know, Hindu Indian, she's gonna love. Oh, I was just gonna set a spoiler, but no, no, no. Anyway, uh, um, I loved all the songs. They were even yeah. After at the end, because at the, the, the one of the songs rolls in the credits, and I was just singing along. Me too, because singing I was along like, with this it. Is, this is a lot of fun. And the the. Uh, it was better on screen as you could expect and in 3D, but I was far more energized and impacted by that number we reacted to. That's the Ran Beer number with that, the festival that oh, becomes yeah. as a DJ party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I enjoyed it more here on the big screen. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, like yeah. I said, it's, you need to go see this in IMAX. See it in IMAX 3D. Um, I mean, I I could probably do without the 3D still, even though I did, did like I said, it didn't bother me. It's just, I, I don't think it adds anything for I, me, it's personally. A, it's its own thing. It, it's its own spectacle. At, at times, I had, especially at the front, I had to not be judgmental of it because my mind was going, ah, looks like a freaking video game. Stop. Um, yeah. <laughs> stop. And, and then I let it just be mm -hmm. what it was. I'm really looking forward to seeing it in in regular 2D mm -hmm. to catch what some of the cinematography was because it's a whole different beauty and I obviously prefer cinematography in 2D but this is by far like I enjoyed the last 3D movie I ever saw was probably Avatar I I enjoyed the visuals in this more than I did in Avatar mm. interesting yeah um, yeah it's it was it's a lot of like um Harry Potter in in the battles but like Bo on crack, on crack. <laughs> yeah. and steroids and steroids yeah and, co and, and cocaine. cocaine and cocaine that <laughs> Karen Johar gave everyone yeah, exactly. that day <laughs> he was like oh, here have some of this more another little note it was really cool that right as we came out there were a couple of stupid babies that were out there that watched it with us so hello to you guys that we met if you're watching this um, uh, and, and, there, and, oh, and the buddy in Vegas also there's no post credit scene Oh yeah, you don't need to. Well, you should stay through just to see the city that was involved. Tashar Law and uh, yeah, is, we uh, shot Tashar in the credits. No, nah, which is which is lovely. But, but the, we, the city of artists involved in the making of this thing, just look at the names yeah. because they 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 deserve the accolades for the accomplishment um, they did. The uh, the other thing that um, and maybe it goes along with what I, my, what my original problem was, I never felt the the stakes were incredibly high. Like in terms of, I didn't. I knew what what they was gonna happen, right? I agree. I knew. I'm not gonna give anything away. I just no. I felt not I, that I knew what the, where the story was going in terms of like uh, overall story. Just I knew like, oh, he's gonna win, right? He's and gonna, that's gonna happen. And he, and yeah, 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 yeah. There wasn't. There wasn't much. I think that's kind of combined into yeah, my original gripe. There wasn't much that fell outside the spectrum of what you would expect, but I liked. I liked yeah. that it fell within that framework because yeah. it's like that's what I expect from this kind mm -hmm. of a movie. Um, uh, that's what I'm, I'm really looking forward to what they do in the future with this. Yeah, when we don't have to be explained, we know the world now. Now you can expand and make bigger and better. It's interesting because they set I the don't even table. Know what they're gonna do now? Right, they set the table for this universe in a very very different way because when Marvel set the table for their universe, they didn't have anywhere near the budget they have for this film, mm. nor was there an audience for this the way it was. So with the Iron Man film, they the, the great thing was, wow, it's a superhero movie that has a story and acting. Mm -hmm. We don't get movies as superhero movies that have great actors and great stories. So Marvel established that, and then when they got the money, they started adding all of the glorious special effects and visual effects. I, th I think this trajectory now, he set the table with all of this information to, I really am impressed with giving you it could have been really convoluted, and you could have walked out of the theater going confused. What the hell was that? No, yeah, I, I mean it was beautiful, but I didn't. What are these things? I didn't feel confused. Not at I all. Felt, even though 
Uh, I'm sure there's stuff that went over my head right. in terms of like right. the part of the mythology, but I felt felt like if you didn't know anything and we and we don't we don't really we really I mean, don't we, we kind of probably uh, know more than most white people more than the average bear yeah we do uh, but uh, I feel I don't feel like I was confused with the story not once I didn't get um, lost I. I I felt I, like I was tracking with them. I thought all the performances were good. Yep. This is not one that, this is not a film that kind of, you're, you're looking for the performance to drive the, the film. No. Uh, but it, all, it also, nobody ruined the film with their performance at all. And I thought everybody did a good job. Randir did a really good job. Alia did a good job. Uh, Amitak Bakshan, of course, is always, his, his presence But it great. would it would have been easy to ruin the film with not solid performances. And I do believe that even though they didn't get to, well, like we like to phrase it, they didn't get to flex their thespianatic muscles per se in this. The fact that Alia and Ranbir are such good thespians emanates through everything that they do. They also so, have good chemistry. They should get together. Yeah, they, they really should get together. I mean... Make a baby. Yeah, because like, it just seems like they're so right for each other. And like in this film, it just seems like, why don't they get married? Also, why don't they have a kid? Uh, uh, but, but are we getting into spoilers? A little bit of a now? spoiler. What are you, you going to share? Oh no, I'll do it. Yeah, okay. Well, let's, you want to go into uh, spoilers now? But let me let me think of any. Like I said, I I think everybody should go see this film. I think it's absolutely worth, it, especially in the, do not wait for OTT. No, uh, please. Uh, one, I think somebody said OTT is not coming for like seven months. I think. Great. I think they well, said that. number one, you're not going to get the experience. No. Number two, you're going to get spoiled. You're, yeah. You're gonna you're gonna things are gonna get ruined for you. There's stuff in here that, that if you, you don't, don't go wanna, see it you now, don't get spoiled. blind. Um, and in the world that they're going to build, there's stuff yeah. that I thought was going to happen as well that didn't. Yeah, uh, which I was. We'll talk about in the spoils. Yeah, but uh, yeah. So I think overall, I think it's a, a really enjoyable um, spectacle film. Yes. and I think uh, India should be proud to uh, finally be here as a as a film industry uh, with RRR and and this kind of films of just massive big spectacle for the masses. That's on par with what a lot of people are doing in Hollywood. Yeah, I think I said that when we were expecting it. I said, I really hope this is the one-two punch. I, I really hope that this gives another punch that just makes everybody look at the world and go, I, I, I'm looking forward to people who saw RRR seeing this and just stepping back and going, holy crap, that wasn't a one-off. That wasn't like an anomaly with RRR. This industry is freaking, this is what they produce. You just have to give them the budget. Yep, man. yep. Um, so yeah, if you haven't watched it, go watch it, come back, and then we'll get into some spoilers here. Do you think Spoil it was, time! Do you think it was hard for Alia to learn all of her lines of Shiva? <laughs> I think she yelled think Shiva, she yelled Shiva about, about a lot of 600 times. hundred times in this film. I think you're absolutely <laughs> right. <laughs> like every other line of Shiva! <laughs> every single time she was on the yep um, hey I want to say this right at the outset now we're in the spoiler section spoilers that is one of if not the I need to think about it long and hard one of the sexiest villains I've ever seen her? on oh loved her yeah I thought she did really well I don't know freaking from the minute she got on screen I was like oh my god goodness. We don't have signals. So I can't look up her name. I apologize. But yeah, I thought she did a really good job. Muni, I'm going to forgive me for this. I'm not remembering your name correctly. There's a, a fantastic. Yeah, I thought she did. Loved her I thought in she this did role. a really good job. Loved her. Uh, and Couldn't I, wait for her to get back on screen. I thought her and the, uh, <laughs> well, the big villain kept going, ah! <laughs> that was his line. <laughs> and then the other guy who died. Uh, yeah, her the, partner's in crime. Uh, I thought he did well as well. I did too. Uh, Shah Rukh Khan's cameo. I was actually sad it came so early. I was, it, it was fine with me. Uh, okay, cause I, I it got to start it off with a bang. Like literally right off the bat, you're like that Shah Rukh Khan, and you get a full on well, kind I, of mini movie. With yeah, Shah Rukh Khan. it made me think. Okay, what else are you gonna do? You just blew your proverbial wad right yeah. here. What else are you gonna throw at us? <laughs> Starting out with Shah Rukh Khan. You got, you got SRK back on screen, and as we were watching it, I'm like, hey, this is the first time I'm seeing SRK on the big screen. No, lol. Oh, that's right. He was in. <laughs> But that really was his face. It really that wasn't was. him. Um, but yeah, I, I thought he, his scene was really fun. It was great. Uh, and, and enjoyable. And, and a I, great opening. It was like, hey, here's the visual effects you're going to get. So strap in. They kind of like, without obviously introducing Ren Beer yet, um, they kind of established the world of this is what's happening. These are the stakes. Right, this is the stakes. Uh, this is what the bad guy's trying to get. And here's Shah Rukh Khan as a... Uh, yes. But I was also just sad that he was... I was like... 
Can he come back? Maybe I know. The, maybe, maybe please don't do that. Maybe he'll come back in the third film? Yeah, no, please don't do what Marvel started to do, which is that, like, nobody can die because there's just another version of them will show up in another well, I don't dimension. Know. Can Astra's... I don't know the... I don't know. The lore of an but Astra. But if they do it, I hope they do it a little bit more intelligently because this whole multiverse thing where there can be nine trillion unlimited versions of you, I don't... Hmm. It's getting old. Yeah, so uh, that was a fun one. I... I swear to you, that is really I know, good. you're so... That is, you were literally, when that moment comes up and we're sure that again, we're going to get... haven't seen the film. That we're going to get uh, Dev revealed. At Corbin end, sitting, I, leaning I sit forward and, and I was like, show me. Show, show me. him. Show, show me. me. I know that back. I know that back. I know I know it's Renvira and Topeka. I thought it's 100% Renvira well, and Topeka. Well, his mom... We were almost certain in the baby well, that's, sequence. That's, that's yeah. his mom that, and, and Dev is his dad. That's Enrica, and I agree, and I'm pretty sure that's who it is. And is that going to be the next film? And so that... Uh, yeah, I mean, they it, said, they clearly set that up for its part two is going to be... And But is part two going to be a continuation <laughs> with Ren Beer? Yeah, it's going to be like Empire. I am your father. <laughs> no, I'm saying, or is this just going to be a separate story of, I don't, I don't, of, s- of Dev... No, I think or it's is a conti- Ren Beer going to be the continuation. I think it's a continuation because it is he was released. That's why they showed us that at the end where uh Junoon goes and is releasing him. Mm-hmm. So and I hope she's back. Uh Actually, I don't think she is. I hope so. I, I hope she, she didn't died die. There, I, she said I that she won't he won't let me die. That, that's what my, she said. That's true. So I hope she comes back. Um also <laughs> 99.9 times out of 100 when a film is overscored, I'm not going to like it. This film is overscored. <laughs> yeah, it is. But I liked it. Yeah. It's it's one of, I liked it. Well, it's because it it's that thing that I was talking about. The flaw that I see in it is that it it, it kind of it's a real fast screenplay. Everything, okay, this happens. Now this happens. Yeah. Now this happens and this happens right. and this everything is to further the plot, which is typically bad screenwriting. That's it, typically it can bad be. screenwriting. Yeah. But that's also a plus cuz it carries it along <laughs> like the time like the time when he's telling the story about his parents he's like so but you were going to tell me a story about my mom and dad <laughs> you're like yeah you're really quick well you're like really quick shiva he's been talking about your mom and dad the whole well, time he, he was 5 minutes before he was like i'm going to tell you i'm not going to tell you when you're ready and then 5 minutes later he's like i'm going to tell you about your dad now yeah. and so everything went real it fast go right cool. yeah um and so i think that uh, what was, what was the point of what I was saying? I'm sorry, I interrupted your point. No, no, because you, you were talking you asked, about plot and exposition, and then you needed everything to go quick. No, oh, the, the overscoring thing. was prior to that. Yeah, and so I think that because the the music was intense all the time because every every moment felt intense. Yeah, but there was actually or deeply emotional, but different because one of the issues we had with KGF two was that everything was so intense, but there was no payoff. Exactly. Right. It there was, was just a absolute, commercial. Everything was a commercial. There was no payoff. Right. Uh, <laughs> outside of one moment at the end with the big fight scene in, right. in KGF uh, 2. Um, but it felt like in this, there was little fight scenes that were really fun. Um, Great it, stunt work. Uh-huh. Uh, <laughs> people, get stabbed, oh. people get stabbed in the heart and then... <laughs> I loved the whole car sequence when he's on top of the car and pulling Alia out of the car. Editing. The editing team did an exceptional job, both with film editing and sound editing. Absolutely fantastic yeah. job. I think I, it's good that the visuals were so engrossing, because oh, obviously yeah. that's why I said at the so, outset, so see this in the biggest and most beautiful screen you can, because that's just that is this film. Is that that one of the the, the most engaging parts of this film is yeah. this visual spectacle. And if kind of similar to Sanjay's films. Yeah. Sanjay Lee and Sally, but uh, like on but they're steroids. Yeah, but this is on steroids, <laughs> and it really is. And there are some spots where it wasn't just the spectacle. There are some establishing shots that I was surprised, because typically in 3D you don't get this, but there's like this one shot when they're at the boat, at the, oh, the no. uh, all sitting around the boat, and it just shows you this shot out into the sunset. Mm-hmm. And we both went, oh, wow, that's yeah. Gorgeous. Yeah, and there was actually a lot of a couple of funny moments in the film that Very like, funny. made us laugh out loud. Yep. Um, yeah. I also did. You get the Mister India line? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I love that we could get the Mister India line because obviously he's uh, he's got there with all the kids, all the orphans. Yeah, he's got all the orphans. Uh, and then he him. said his dad disappeared, and he was Mister India because he's no longer there. He's no longer there. Right? Um, and so yeah, it's it's wonderful that we can catch those kind of references. My least favorite part was probably the beginning with Ranbir and Alia, the establishing of them. Yeah. 
One, I, I agree with one you. because it was just so fast and uh, okay, we, it was we're very in love simple. And, and like the supporting cast were like the, the lines were just cheesy and that kind of stuff. And I it was almost like, okay. felt like a Nickelodeon yeah. a, a character development. I was like, okay, can we get can we get to the plot? I get, yeah, they're gonna fall in love. Let's get there. And can I, we get I to the think plot? that's <laughs> probably what he felt too. Yeah. He's like, okay, I got to establish that they love each other, but this is this is. They're, they're the two most important people, uh, and, and they represent who they represent, and I just got to establish that they're in love with each other, and now let's get on with the story. Honestly, I was actually, I, I thought from the beginning, and maybe it'll get revealed later, I think there was a lot of hints that she is somebody. I, I, I know she, I know. in the lore she's obviously Shiva's um, muse or right, whatever. And wife. I, and wife, and I don't know the ins and outs of their relationship. I just know that they're together in the mythology or whatever you want to call it. I apologize. Uh, I'm not trying to offend by calling it a mythology. But the I, 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 from almost the moment when he went into the temple to go find her in mm -hmm. the beginning, yeah. and she was looking at the god, yeah. like really intently, and then there was a few other moments like the the villain girl touch her and they kind of had a moment and right they, there was a bunch of hints that she was that she's got a power yeah i don't know what yeah, it is i, I agree did you feel we that? i did and i felt like it was enough to make us have the thought and see if that's something that's going to come she was in part turn two out to be the villain almost for, i didn't expect that for the no. for for a second i didn't expect it, that that obviously didn't happen i want to again if you're here and you haven't seen it you know please you shouldn't please, be here you shouldn't be here and we spoiled everything for you yeah you suck um but yeah i i i enjoyed it I, I, and i would see it again yeah my my favorite thing aside from the visual effects and it living up to the hype and actually surpassing it in many respects in that regard is I do like, as much as it's a simple story, I really love the main message of the fact that the ultimate power in the universe that can conquer all things is sacrificial love as the highest form of power. And that unleashing your gift, because this is, this is Shiva's main story, is that he found the unleashing of his gift in the expression of love and not being afraid of it. And I can tell you from, from, from personally, there's a lot of stuff that I'm in, you know, in the pursuit of things that I want to do as an actor mm -hmm. to have Indrani with me mm -hmm. and to have that relationship and have her believe in me is unlike anything I've ever known in my life. And it has a releasing force to it because mm -hmm. of her love for me. Yeah. So that was a very personal thing for me. I was like, I'm, I'm getting, I get the feels you're wanting me to get. Cause it, it got all the mythology, but then it also had that really beautiful message that I think an adult audience can be entertained by, but even a 10 year old kid could get the message of the film. Wow. <laughs> I always find that, that whole thing cheesy. Of course I, you do. And Harry Potter, Harry Potter, Harry Potter. <laughs> what just happened there? You know, Harry Potter, you know, Harry Potter, <laughs> you know, Harry Potter, <laughs> fucking Harry Potter, you know? Yeah. Um, but oh, it, he's from the other. He's, yeah. In the Harry other Potter, when um, he, he's lying on the ground after Voldemort's just in, he's like, he tells Voldemort, "You'll never know friendship." <laughs> <laughs> He'll always die laughing. <laughs> I think it's so stupid, but it happens so much in films like this. Yeah, I, and love I, the, I get I it. Love it's that. not a. It's not I a. I love it. Obviously, love is the, everybody loves love and yeah, love it wins and all that kind of stuff. But I always find it in films. And hey, so how much, cheesy. How much did you love watching Big B oh, kick, kick ass? ass? Oh, I loved it. Yeah, I hope he's back for uh, uh, the part. The next part who couldn't have had a better guru yeah couldn't have had a better i just guru. wish we had more people in our theater yeah we went to an early showing i the, the later showings are a lot more full than yeah we went to like a midday like a, a five o'clock um, and everybody's in traffic here in los angeles in midday and it's an indian film um but i because i wanted some more cheers yeah. i feel like there was moments where people should be cheering like when his wife walked out uh -huh. they're here here are the people behind us they did what we did yeah when when we were like oh she's in this yeah <laughs> uh anyway so yep yeah, that's our thoughts that's it uh finally we got the brahmastra behind us now we got a whole bunch of other stuff in front of us uh let us know what you thought about the film what you liked what you didn't like do you love it what are your thoughts what do you think is going to happen on the next one is it ranveer yes it is we all know it uh so he's going to play dev and he's going to be um shakti Ma. yeah uh, he's such a powerful man he is a powerful man and with a powerful body yep. just ask topeka anyways let us know what you thought about the film down below <laughs>